Happy Friday, everybody. It's Jill Blanchett with Green Thumb Stampers. I am here with another no frills tutorial for you this week. I'm going to get right to it. It's time for a no frills fun fold. We are going to quickly run through this double fan fold. Like this. It's pretty dang easy. The only difficult is trying to get these to fold in the way that you need them to go. So let's get started. I've got a five and a half by five and a half by seven and a half inch piece of paper, and we are going to score it at one and a quarter. Two and a half, I'm going to turn it now. Two and a half. Five. Six point two five. Which is six and a quarter. And that's it. And we're doing this along the seven and a half inch side. So if you've got a scoreboard or your trimmer, um, Put the longest part at the top. Then we are going to put the trimmer or put the cardstock. I gotta make sure this is in my my video. Is it in there? You can see it. We're gonna go from the top right down to the bottom of these two small panels. So we're gonna go from the top outer edge down to, we'll call this one the five inch score line. So line that up in your trimmer. Use your scoring blade and score diagonally. Oops, I got that a little bit off. Then you're going to come at the five inch line on the other side and go down to the bottom. And you should be intersecting through the middle. Hopefully you can see that. You're going to intersect through the middle. Then you're going to come to the other side and do the same thing. And this will be on that two and a half inch line up to the outer corner. And then the two and a half inch line down to the outer corner. And now you both pieces have intersected in the middle. And that's it for our scoring. I'm going to show you guys now the folds that you need to make. So you're going to fold on these diagonals. Crease them up with your bone folder. on both sides. And then you are going to try and make these center lines are going to be mountain folds. So they're going to come up. So if you kind of give those a little pinch, you want those to come up. And then now you see how I've got this fold starting, and that's exactly what you want. It's going to make like a little bit of a, a bowl there. So you want these two to kind of come in and fold that down. Does that make sense? Did that On the other side, we fold it on the outer diagonal. And now I'm going to pinch these center score lines because you want them to come up. So I'm giving them a pinch and they're starting to fold in and that's exactly what you want. You're going to fold them in and then this piece folds down. And this is the trickiest part of the whole card right there. 
And once you get those, then they're, they're going to fold backwards. These two. And this is the front. So they're going to fold backwards. And they're going to fold in. And then these little pieces are going to stick out. So you're going to have a card that looks like that. And then you can use these to pull it. It'll kind of help it stand up there. If you want to put a greeting, you go ahead and put a piece on the back for that. I'll show you real quick some of the uh, decorating pieces. You need a layer for the front. Now this is if you want a double layer. If you don't, then this is the direction that you need. So this one is five and a quarter by two and a quarter. I told you I wasn't gonna, I'll just sort of glue this on. Five and a quarter by two and a quarter, and then you need a layer that is five by two, and that will go right there on the top. Then you have these two side panel pieces that are one inch wide by five inches long. We do need our cutter again. You're going to make a mark on the back side of your paper at two and a half inches. And then you're going to cut from the outer edge to that dot that you just made in the center. And then you're going to turn your paper and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go from the dot to the other outer edge. I'm not lined up very good, so. All right, you're going to do that for both pieces. Make a dot at two and a half. Outer edge to the dot. And the same again. Dot to the outer edge. And those are the side pieces. We'll need that again. These two pieces will adhere to your outer sides here. Then you're going to decorate these inner triangles. For those, you're going to need four squares that are one inch wide by two and a quarter inches long. So if you're not going to layer them, these are what you're going to need four of, like your designer series paper. Then you're going to cut them, and you're going to cut two of them this direction, and you're going to cut two of them this direction and it will matter so when you cut them keep them um, separated so that you know and so I'll, I'm gonna cut them and then I will um, adhere them down so I'm gonna try and use my little tiny trimmer here the one you know that has the broken guard on it that okay so we're gonna glue these down right away put it down here the straight edge goes against the center. Just know that much. I'm sure there's... I've never really paid attention to putting anything together like this. So now the other one, we want to cut from the top left down. Boy, that scares me to... And then this straight edge goes up against the fold. Like that. Then, those little pieces are confusing me. You're going to do the same thing if you're layering it like this cut top this way and do the second one this way and they will go on top of these so I'm gonna go 
work backwards kind of thing. I'm going to do and depends you know how straight of a cutter I am and whatnot if they're going to go on there correctly. That one looks like it fits pretty good down there. We're going to go with it down there. why they're fitting all over the place I'm not sure okay we're gonna stick that on there but you get it I won't it's taken me too long to fuss with it but you're gonna repeat that on over here as well and then if you want to um, put something on the front of the card to stand up and decorate that front panel and then, like I said, you can put a panel on the back, and that will be your writing space. So this will fold up. Like so. And then these little pieces are going to stick out. So I went ahead and finished up decorating the card with the little pieces of paper and this is what I ended up with and then I decorated the bat. That's it everybody. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you like this card. I've never seen this kind of a fold before and that was my first time trying it so I hope that you enjoyed it and you'll give it a try.